you may be hitting a rate limit with the Twitter app on Pipedream. This is because, unfortunately, Twitter ties all accounts on Pipedream to the same amount of requests in a given period of time, aka the rate limit. So a way to work around this is by creating your own Twitter app in a Twitter developer portal, and then using the app's credentials in Pipedream so you have your own separate app and own separate definition and rate limits than the rest of the Pipedream users. And the good news is it's really not that hard to get set up. I'm gonna show you how to do it from start to finish. All right, so step one is to head on over to developer.twitter.com. This is the developer platform for making Twitter apps. You're gonna to wanna to sign in with your Twitter account. So I'm gonna enter in my personal account here. Enter my password. And now I'm signed in. Then you click on the developer portal navigation link. And here you can dis, you can start the application to create a new standalone Twitter application. So I'm just a hobbyist in this case. I'm selecting hobbyist, and I'm making a I'm making a bot in this case. I'm not going to bore with these specifics, but basically you need to go through this application of the intended use and answer the questions that they prompt you for. All right, it took around 24 hours for Twitter to accept my developer request and eventually they did. So it may take you some time just depending on their queue, but here is what the developer dashboard looks like once your app is approved. What we wanna do next is, is open up the project and apps section, and then underneath you'll see the standalone apps area. The standalone apps have version 1.1 access to Twitter, which is what Pipedream uses currently. When Pipedream adds Twitter version 2.0 support, you can use the projects feature, but at the time of recording, I recommend using the version 1.1 standalone apps. It's just simpler. So we'll use this button down here to create a brand new Twitter app. And here's where you can define a unique name for your app. So I'm just gonna call it um, Pierce Blog Updater. That's all I'm gonna do is update my Twitter account when a new blog post comes out. And here you'll see a API key and an API key secret. Do not close this window yet. We're gonna need these tokens. We're gonna to go back to Pipedream and we're going to add the Twitter developer app to a step. And we can use a pre-built action or the scaffolding here. And then we need, to we need to connect our Twitter developer app account. And here's where the fields need to be pasted into. You can see the very top here, we need the API key and the API secret key that corresponds with our standalone app. So copy this API key paste it in, copy the API secret key, paste it in. And the next two fields are access tokens that represent a single account associated with your Twitter app. So now we have these copied, we can go ahead and go to the app settings, and then we can go to the keys and tokens area in the top left. So the app API key and, and secret we've already stored. Then we need to use the access token and secret for our own personal account. We can click this generate button to generate these. And now we have, so the access token is the one we really need. We'll copy and paste this in here. And the secret. Make sure there's no white space. And I'm just gonna name it my own Twitter app and then save. Finally, we can test, make sure that our application keys are correct by clicking this test button and we should see a response, status code 200, and my profile information. Great, so now we know we can use the Twitter developer app that we just created, and it's unrestricted in terms of rate limiting by other Pipedream users. You can use this Twit library to scaffold your own API requests to your own developer app, or you can use the Python scaffolding as well. Hope this was helpful. 